Welcome to Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact. My name is Alec Cuenca and I'm your host for the show. And for anything else, I would like to greet each and every one of you who is listening here right now. Welcome to the show. If this is your first time, then welcome. I hope that you enjoy this episode. And if you do, then go ahead and check the other episodes because those episodes are so insightful and they have a lot of tools and techniques that can help you make better decisions for yourself and for the people around you. If you're an avid listener of the podcast, then welcome back. How are you guys? I missed you. I hope that you learned something today and I hope that you enjoyed the episode as well. And before we actually go with our topic for today, I have a few announcements. First is... This is going to be a mini-series that I'll be doing for the podcast. So for 14 days straight, I'll be uploading a single episode each day. Yes, for two weeks, I will be uploading a daily episode. And every single day, we are going to talk about a rule that I think that is necessary for you to be successful. And I'm not going to talk about my success. You know, because who who am I to talk? I'm a 24-year-old that knows nothing about success. So instead, we will be talking about concepts, people who have reached success, or concepts from books, best-selling books that teaches about that teaches about success. So why for? So some of you might be thinking, why 14? Right? Because this is the second announcement. I have been isolated, have been um, put in a special room in our compound to be quarantined. Um, Unfortunately, I was exposed to someone who tested positive for COVID-19. So I have to take this precautionary measures. Uh, I don't want you guys to be worried. I'm perfectly healthy, I think. Uh, I don't have any flu. I don't have any... um, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel anything in my body. I feel like I'm perfectly healthy. But since I was exposed, you know, protocol is to isolate yourself for 14 days. So I'm here in a, a room where I can't see the sun and this moon for 14 days. And so I figured, why not produce a podcast series for 14 days? So I decided that I'll post a mini series about success. So today's day one. Right, today is the first day, and I'll ha- I'll be having thirteen more days to talk about you with a different thing that I feel like could influence your success in life. Now, for a special announcement, for this mini series, I would be giving away two grateful T-shirts, and the only thing that you need to do is to share your insights. So, if you like this podcast. Just go ahead and share it and share your insights. It doesn't matter if it's how you apply it in your life. It's some additional info. Whatever insight that you can give with regard to the episode that we are talking about, go share them on IG and I will pick the best insight for the 14 days. Two of the best insight that I will receive on the podcast episodes on this mini series and if you post it and i repost it that means you're that means you already have a submission so that counts as a, so that already counts as a submission as long as i repost it so good luck and i'm really excited to hear your insights about the things that we are going to talk about because some of these things are principles that have been tested for a very long time it's it has been here for the people who have been successful, who are successful, and who will be successful. So I hope that you learn a thing or two. Now, lastly, okay, I don't have announcement, but I just got to say this. This 14 rules of success is not a step-by-step process on how you can become successful. This is a guide for you. And I don't want you to go listen to every single episode and just be like, wow, I learned something, right? I want you to take just one, at least one rule or one concept or one value that you think that can help you wherever you are in your life and can benefit you 
and can help you become successful. I don't want you to go listen to these 14 rules and just listen to it. I want you to listen to something and when and it, when something connects with you, I want you to apply it in your life. I want you to practice it daily. I want you to build a habit of applying the values or the principles or the rules that I that I will be going to talk about. All right? This is going to be pointless if you just listen to it and just listen to it. I want you to apply the thing that you feel that can help you. All right. Okay. So for the first, so this is, so again, welcome to the 14 rules of success. This is the first rule of success. And the first rule of success is mindset. There's an old story about an identical twin brothers who had an alcoholic father. Despite their identical genes and their presumably similar environments, they took a different path from one another. One of them became an alcoholic a homeless bum on the streets. But the other one became a successful businessman. And he had never taken a sip of alcohol ever in his life. So, so researchers contacted them and interviewed them both for an insight why they ended up so differently. The alcoholic twin said, Well, I grew up with an alcoholic father. There was always alcohol in the house. And I always saw my father drinking. So I guess it was natural for me to be an alcoholic too. The researchers then turned to the successful twin and he said, Well, I grew up with an alcoholic father. There were always alcohol in the house. And I always saw my father drinking. So I guess it was natural for me to swear that I would never be like that. And so I don't drink. Both of them started with the same environment, with the same resources, exposed to the same father. However, the path that they chose was different as a result of their mindset. The alcoholic twin looked at his life with a fixed mindset. He thought that because his father was alcoholic and his influence, he will become one as well. He thought that his fate was sealed. He didn't even think, he didn't, he didn't even stop to think that this might be an experience to show what he shouldn't become. The successful twin, on the other hand, was looking at his life with a growth mindset. He saw the influence his father had in his life and looked at the problems his father was causing. He made sure that this was a learning experience for him of what he didn't want to become, an alcoholic. So he decided to act on it, and he took a very different path compared to his brother and sister. We have no say in where we are going to be born or raised. We can't control the circumstances that life gives us. And we don't always get to choose what happens to us and around us. But we can always put ourselves in a growth mindset every time we face a setback. After all, mindsets are just beliefs that we set upon ourselves. Mindsets are powerful beliefs that heavily shape our outcomes. And so we need to understand what is a mindset? A mindset is something that we constantly tell ourselves. A mindset is how we approach things. A mindset is a set of beliefs on how we respond or approach certain circumstances in our lives. And mindset, mindset is the story that we keep on repeating to ourselves. And something that is repeated consistently to ourselves becomes the story of our lives. This is very important for us to understand that we can't move forward with the next rules. We can't understand 
the following rules we can't apply them we may have we, we can apply you know hard work we can we can apply focus we can apply perseverance and all of the principles for uh, the success the uh, and all the other principles for success but if we don't have the mindset that can be a foundation for the other principles for success it's all going to be pointless and this is why i started with this if you can't tell yourself right now that you can be successful then there is no way in hell that you will be successful your mindset sets the outcomes that you will have in the future and one of the things that i've learned is that a lot of people don't actually is not actually aware that they have a fixed mindset and we're going to talk about having a fixed mindset and a growth mindset later on but i just want to let people know that the mindset is something that is not based on the circumstances you know this is something that is based on the internal voice that we have for example I, i'm saying that i can't be good at chess do you think that i can be good at chess not sure probably not because i don't believe in myself i don't believe that i can be good at chess so there is no way that i will be good at chess because and even if i put in the hard work if i had if i had set my mind that i won't be good in chess then i won't be good there's there's an there's an interesting sa- example about this in um i don't know what school it is but they conducted a test and we have this cultural um we have this cultural stereotypes right and uh the the entrance exam was conducting a math test so we have these cultural cultural stereotypes right for example they say that women are less likely to be good at math to be good at engineering because they're women right and some people even assume that Asians are much better in doing math than Americans or other races and so what they did with the exam is that before the math test they wrote an, a special question above the first question was for and they and it and they divided the the exam into two groups right the first question on the first one was nationality and on the second one and the se- and, and on this and the second group the first question was gender and so the people who wrote that they were asian produced 11% a produced a result that is 11% better from the people who don't when in fact they had just passed the same eg- score exams before they actually took that special exam they were all equal but then some of them wrote they were asian and they felt like they could be better at math and so they they were 11% better than some people who are not asian for and for the other group when they wrote that they were women the math scores were relatively lower compared to the men when in fact they just they are all equal before they came in there is a 22% gap because of just one question and that question is very important because that questions that question sets your beliefs this th- that question sets your mind so and so i want to ask you right now what story are you telling yourself right now because chances are if you tell this certain period mindset you know i i, re- I like to call it the period mindset not the fixed mindset a period mindset is where you feel like um it's just this it's just that and no whatever is happening it's just that for example pag iniisip mo na uh iniwan ka na naman ng boyfriend mo for the second or third time right 
And the story, the story that you tell yourself is that ikaw yung laging iniiwan. So uh, when a boy, when someone comes into your life, kahit hindi pa natatapos yung relationship nyo, you will have this mindset na iiwan ka niyan. Kasi that's what you set your mind to. And I want you to ask, what are your limiting mindsets? What are some aspects in you in your life wherein you have a fixed mindset? And to be more in depth about the two mindset, and this is something that Dr. Carol Dweck um, famously wrote that we have two mindsets. First is the fixed mindset. Second is the growth mindset. The fixed mindset avoids challenges. They don't like challenge. They feel like the challenges will expose their weakness. And for someone who has a growth mindset, they embrace challenges because they know that when they push themselves to become uncomfortable at times, they will grow. That's the difference between the two. Another one is when you have a fixed mindset, you give up easily. Wherein if you have a growth mindset, you see effort as a path to mastery. For example, you want to do a pull-up. So you got into the gym, you tried doing a pull-up, and you can't do a pull-up. So now, when you have a fixed mindset, you're always going to say, na, I'm never going to do a pull-up. I've never done a pull-up in my life. And I'm pretty sure that I won't be able to do a pull-up because I, I just can't. That's, that's a fixed mindset. Now, a growth mindset, you see effort as a path to mastery. You go into the gym, you try a pull-up, you can't do it. But you know that with enough effort and practice, you can do the pull-up. Well, in the fixed mindset, you see effort as fruitless or worse. When the growth mindset, you see effort as something that is necessary. Something that is a requirement for you to be successful. And um, another one is when you have a fixed mindset, you ignore useful negative feedback. When you see that you're challenged, you give up so easily because when people say, when people give you negative feedback, you feel that they're, that it's too personal, that their criticisms are judgments that have no basis. And they're, just, and they're just trying to, and you're just trying to protect your ego, right? Where in, in growth mindset, you learn from criticism. You know that despite that, even though they don't understand where you're coming from, you know that they have a point in whatever they're trying to say. Maybe they're just rude, they, they didn't say it properly, but you know that they have a point and you can learn something from it. So when you hear a criticism, you take what you can and try to adapt on how you can make yourself better. That's how a growth mindset works. Now another one for fixed mindset is that you feel threatened by the success of others because you feel Another term that I'd like to um, connect with the fixed mindset is the scarcity mindset. When you have a fixed mindset, you feel threatened because you feel that the world, the resources in this world is scarce. So if you see a person successful, that means that you now have a less chance to be successful because you feel like the world is scarce, success is scarce. Wherein the growth mindset finds lessons and inspiration in the success of others. They try to celebrate the success of others because they know the people with growth mindset or abundance mindset, the people with abundance, the people with abundance mindset, they know that other people's success does not mean their own downfall. That there is so many, so much to share that there's so much success available in this world that we don't have to fight for success. You can have your success. I can have my success. And that's something that is, and that 
is when you have an abundance mindset. And I want to connect abundance mindset with the growth mindset. And basically, th those are the two mindsets. So I want you to think of a part in your life where you feel like you already closed the door and you had this period mindset or you have this fixed mindset that you don't want to talk about or you don't want to walk that path because you feel that it's already been fixed, that your fate is sealed. I want you to think about it. I want you to list it down and try to find a way to convert it into a growth mindset. Understand that you can learn so many things in this world. There are no particular version that you need to live from your life. Um, and that's one thing you know that I feel like it's a very dangerous thing for us to assume that we're just this guy. We're just this kind of person. We're just this version of ourselves. Because the truth is, we have endless versions of ourselves. We have a version of being a friend, a good friend. We have a ver version of being a gamer. We have a version of playing basketball. We are not just who we think we are. We are more than that. And more importantly, we are not just what other people think we are. If they think that, you, Alec, you're the motivational speaker. No, I'm more than that, actually. I'm a life enthusiast. I'm a life learner. I'm an, I'm an engineer. I'm a soon-to-be engineer, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a tech guy. I'm a gamer. I'm all of those stuff. I'm not just the motivator. Because I, I, I don't want to put myself in a period mindset where I'm just this. Because we can be so many versions. Because we can be so many things if we just put in the work. If we, and if we just understand that we can grow as much. We can grow in ways that we, ha we cannot perceive. We can grow in ways that we cannot comprehend. And so I, if you're going to take anything from this podcast, I just want you to remember that the story that you have been telling yourself, if those stories um, is in line with a fixed mindset, I want you to throw it all away. I want you to go with the next rules of success with an open, with an open, with an open heart, with an open mind with open arms and just absorb what you can absorb and just learn as much as you can. Remove every single bias that you have and just try to hear some of the success stories that I'm going to prepare and some of the concept and rules that I want to share with you. Try to empty your cup so we could fill it with more positive ways for you to become successful. And and if you don't know where, where to start on what to improve on, right? I want you to just think about yourself and ask yourself if you can do this thing. For example, can you do this? And when you respond, I can't do that. I want you to turn it into a growth mindset and say and add in the word yet. I can't do that yet so whatever that you feel that you can't do add in the word yet you can't do that yet you can't do a pull-up yet you can't have a six-pack abs yet you can't become the greatest content creator in the philippines yet that allows you to open the paths that you can walk on Open the opportunity, attract the opportunities in this life. And so that's all for this first rule of success. I hope that you learned something today. I hope that you enjoy this episode. And again, I'm giving away two t-shirts for the best insight that I could read throughout this mini series that I'll be doing. So if you want to join, just share your insights, tag me at Small Talk Podcast. And as soon as I repost it, it will be considered as a submission, I hope. I'm really excited to see your insights, so just do that if you're still here. And yeah, thank you for joining me on this episode. My name is Alec Cuenca. 
This is Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.